Stompy eyes. This is <laughs> Skellige! I haven't seen a Continental leader. It's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? What are you looking at? I heard Grey Inga augurs your son's Foreigner. future. Watch Aye. your step. Threw his umbilical in the water, and it coiled into the shape of a snake. Do you know what that means? Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, We'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. Yelmar seems popular around here. He is crack, son. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on, no spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorach man gave Yalmer the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Viggy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Till now they'd call him the Loom. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvikers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged the seals. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even. Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the top. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods... Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there, Ranter. Sacrificed a whole flock to the gods so they'd send a man with the courage and the strength. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Undvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. We'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron 
forging it into blades that men kill one another with. The Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik, tell me about his death. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. Someone helped Brian on the next night. He was breaking black clad necks yesterday. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or Excellent Hardarok? He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete feed that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. Yalvar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wealth looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other house. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander, with a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plough and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for, cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you.
That's it, Roach. Whoa. The Roach. Let's go! Sea graves. How the islanders bury their fallen.
slow now. Giddy up. Hey ya. Wonder what caused the avalanche. Get up. Move it. Someone dragged a litter through here. Giant tracks. So as 
my strength wanes and my breath shorter grows and my sinews turn stiff and my blood's coursing slows it's time high time i was homeward bound to the modest abode whose corners i roam I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew. They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all, like he did the others. Your Harald Houndsnout, Jarl of Undvik, heard you were dead. We look like stiffs to you, me and me lads. Uh, well... Exactly. So they all think me dead, you say? Mayhaps it's for the best. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you, promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me, suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it! You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. Bad or starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure, it was him. Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy's not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. They recognize you? No. Thank the gods. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed. Did they, Wilmar? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember.
to find another way. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Scavengers got to this one. Taken by surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Search the perimeter. Several men. Dragged a boat north. through here. Separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. smack in a Necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these Skelligers. Another track. didn't come back for his arrows. Archer was determined to kill him. Wonder why? Hmm. Definitely came through here. Got hit here first, but kept going. going, though he could barely walk. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further.
lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Took a second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? In something? Take him with me. If I lose, 
I'll jump in the pot too. Good! Good! <laughs> no bubble! First riddle. Not eat, not drink. Big he be. Step big he. Big he bash. A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Manage. Let's get out of here. You all right? Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Hjalmar? The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm, sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afeard of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Kroch sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Krait's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Krach? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmard only... Has she come back, do you know? Hadn't returned when I left Art Skellig. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the Loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. 
How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had the watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. Wanna use it to drive away sirens? Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. Run, Roach! man bled to death while trying to escape wonder what happened to his cohorts hmm probably plan to repair it toward the caves. Giant chased them.
Someone tripped and fell, went this way, but managed to get away. Winds howling. Another track. Need to find another way. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Hmm. It's deep enough. Shouldn't hit bottom.
clean cut. Ed probably went flying. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. He was dead set on coming with us. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. Guess you could say I've never been fond of Clan Tordorok. In fact, no one in Ard Skellig's especially fond of them. You claim Ard Skelligers don't like the people of Unvik, yet you helped them after the giant attacked. When you see of a drowning man in a storm, do you ask what clan he's from first? Point taken, I guess. But your people gave them shelter, and now you've come to kill the giant. Of course we've come. Winning back Unvix the best way to get those folk off Ard Skellig. Any clan out there Ard Skelligers are friendly with? Well, certainly wouldn't be those Brockvar cowards. They'll say it ain't so. But a hundred years back there, Jarl walked them off the battlefield just because the enemy showed in greater numbers. And Faro folk are cheats and thieves. Everyone knows it. The Twirsek of Ann Skellig always been too big for their britches. Now, Madman Lugas's clan. 
They're all right. Funny. Thought they were your greatest enemies. They are. But we just can't respect the other clans. Let's get going. Shot half a quiver into her. be the ones Joanna mentioned.
Oh, gods. Near twenty of them. But no Yalmar. Show me a pantry and I'll show you the mice. Come on, come closer.
Fallen? I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog, alone. Couldn't wait, no. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres, she staked a claim to the throne then. And you'd have rather gone with her. I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait, still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Bled to death was to be his last voyage. The skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to it. See your rare to go. Telling you, plow an enormous horse, son. He is wonderful.
believe I finally got the bastard! Yeah. How you like I'll that wait silver? The entrance. I'll make sure that madman don't run at the giant all alone.
Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! He should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on Crit. Let me out right now. Wait here. I'll look for the key. Even. No closer. He's mine. Hey, let me out. Quick. Shut your trap. I sat in a bloody troll cauldron with nary a murmur. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Right. Just as soon as I kill him.
knew we'd best him. Viggy, you daft bastard. <laughs> Where are the others? Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. There, Roach. Hey, ya. Uh. There, crew! Whitehair's returned! What brings you to us? I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lots? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Your people have found shelter there, and you're still their leader. Oh, Why? They can come back now. Look alive, crew! We've gotta hurry! Got a finisher? Oh, she'll be a lovely vessel. Perfect for a funeral.
Look there, crew! What? Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes. Finally. Poor Willem's ear will stay put. I should go. Fare you well. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Islanders will see it as a great victory. Cause Skellige is the victor. Whereas I've lost my friends. I've them to thank for making me a leader. They believed in me. And Ceres? She back yet? Hadn't returned when I left Art Skellig. Went to speak a rogue, you say? Venture she aims to face whatever slowly killing Udelric. Some say Udelric's the god's chosen one. They also say the gods are merciful. Witcher? Uh, I'm sure Ceres would be glad to see me, but you wouldn't happen to be heading to speak a rogue. Yeah, I plan to go there. Good. Thanks, Geralt. I hope we meet again. Farewell, Uncrate.